Hello everyone, ex Wall Kill Bethelite here. And when people show you who they are, believe them. Right now, a large portion of America is showing you they like drama. There is an addiction to drama and attraction to it. Will Smith smacked Chris Rock. We all know what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the same thing pretty much everybody else on YouTube is talking about. Now, Will Smith did not get up on stage and shoot Chris Rock. That would have been as newsworthy <laughs> As anything, he didn't get up there and stab him. There was not an all-out fight where punches were thrown. There wasn't even really anything causing great bodily harm. He slapped somebody. I don't even... Men don't typically, when they get angry, go slap people. They typically punch. Or, you know, it, it's typically way worse. What happened on the stage is far more minuscule than what would have happened in 99.9% .9 of cases where an one man confronts another due to disrespect, anger, or what have you. So what happened, what actually happened was actually pretty minuscule. He slapped somebody. But there's drama. And where there's drama, there are tons of people wanting to talk about it, wanting to, 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 to look at the video over and over and over again. You have people who, on ESPN, the people who talk about sports, added that Will Smith slapped Chris you know Chris Rock in their sports casting. You have pretty much every YouTube blogger talking about Will Smith slapped somebody. Why is this? What does this tell you about humans and just human nature? They're doing it because they know there's a lot of attention on that. They're doing it because it's drama. Drama attracts people. So you got YouTube bloggers who talk about uh, gang violence and, and they, they pretty much gossip about rappers and uh, they pretty much make a living off of that. Well, now they're talking about Will Smith slapping Chris Rock because they know it's going to get a lot of attention. They know it's going to get a lot of views and it will because <laughs> controversy, drama that sells. It doesn't even really have to be anybody getting physically injured as long as there's a lot of drama around it. This is why, see, the, the, the reason why all these people's YouTube channels are blowing up because they're talking about Will Smith, because people feed off of that. They're looking for YouTube channels to talk about it. You know, they're, they're looking for the drama right now. This is the reason why Kingdom Hall crashes are probably the most one of the most dangerous things ever invented by former Jehovah's Witnesses, ex-Jehovah's Witnesses. This is probably one of the most dangerous things ever conceived. Why? Because of the drama involved in the attention it will grab a large part of the, the people 
involved with Jehovah's Witnesses and exposing it. This is, this is primarily just the XJW community. This is just a community within a community within a culture. Like it's, it's a smaller group of people. But when I saw all the YouTube bloggers numbers going up, all the YouTube bloggers, it don't matter if, if their whole YouTube channel is talking about baking cakes, they took advantage of all the drama surrounding Will Smith and their numbers shot up. When I saw that, I said, wait a minute, let me look at Kingdom Hall crashes. Because Will Smith essentially crashed the Oscars and everybody's talking about it. I look at Kingdom Hall crashes and lo and behold, numbers went up. There, 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 there's channels that would normally have maybe 400 people view a video, 500 people view a video. It, it fluctuates. They do a Kingdom Hall crash or Kingdom Hall crashes on that channel and it's up to 80K. There's channels that, that, that maybe, you know, maybe a thousand people might watch a video. You look at some of the Kingdom Hall clash, crashes. Over 200K drama attracts people and it attracts people outside of the XJW community. People that don't even watch the Oscars, have no interest in watching the Oscars, are all over this. This went outside of the Oscar community. There was another event in the XJW community that happened not long ago, got a lot of people upset, involving drama, involving scandal. What happened? It went outside of the community. People are searching for this. They're searching for drama. And if it's in the XJW community or if it's in the Jehovah's Witness community, they'll search there. It don't matter where the drama is. They're seeking it out to find it. It just so happens the Oscars has got a lot of attention because it happened there. Kingdom Hall crashes are so dangerous because typically... What we do as essentially whistleblowers typically only affects Jehovah's Witnesses and former Jehovah's Witnesses, just that community. But Kingdom Hall crashes <coughs> have the potential to not just affect Jehovah's Witnesses that are in the Kingdom Hall, former Jehovah's Witnesses, it has the, uh, the potential to draw in everybody. The the one of the main issues, if I remember correctly, comment down below what what you think. But one of the main issues is that people don't know what a Kingdom Hall crash is, right? Will Smith slapping Chris Rock, essentially crashing the. Uh, Oscars, they know what that is, but if 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 somebody would have said it was an Oscar crash, it would eventually have gotten the same amount of attention, but not as quickly because people don't know what it is. So these Kingdom Hall crashes, uh, a lot of people don't know what a Kingdom Hall is, and they sure enough don't know what crashing one is, and the numbers still went up because of the drama. This is extremely dangerous to watch Tower because potentially a person's message could be heard not just by that congregation, not just by other former Jehovah's Witnesses, but half of humanity because half of humanity is searching for drama. You look at some of your uh, favorite ex-Jehovah's Witness uh, activists or YouTube channels. Look at the numbers. 
Look at the numbers of what you would consider successful, a successful channel. Look at what, well, okay, well, what is a successful channel for a former Jehovah's Witness? Look at it. Look at the numbers, right? Some of them are trying to make money. Okay, that's fine. Look at the numbers. How, what, what, how many people are, are, are watching? Then go and look at some of the videos for Kingdom Hall crashing. Some of those exceed what we would look at as a successful video. It's, it exceeds it times four. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's 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 drama. Uh, in drama, <laughs> gets views. Period. Period. Drama gets views. So if if those videos had a different title, think about the ones that got eighty k, the ones that got two hundred thousand people and more. Watching it. If they had a different title instead of Kingdom Hall Crash, a title nobody even knows what in the world it is, so they don't know to click on it. If it had a title that grabbed people, drama that grabbed people, quadruple that. You'd have 500,000 people looking at that. And imagine if the person, instead of just going into a Kingdom Hall and hollering, thought, to make a prelude explaining Jehovah's Witnesses, these people killed my mother. These people killed my brother or, or, or killed my loved one. Uh, they actually have a, co a committee that goes and makes sure that people die who need certain types of medical treatment. The masses are like, what? Wow. Then segue into going into the kingdom hall, standing up in front of everyone and saying, this is wrong. This happened and that happened. And not just going up there screaming and getting pushed out, but having an actual message. That would have the potential. Plus, if it had a title that people actually knew that were looking through YouTube for drama, they would click on. They would know what that is. They don't know what a kingdom all crash is most likely. That would have the potential to take an XJW video beyond anything it has ever been. Stop me when I'm lying because we just tell the truth here in this channel. We tell the truth. We keep it real here. Look at what happened with Will Smith and the Oscars. More people are looking at the Oscars right now <coughs> or an event surrounding the Oscars than they would have ever looked at the actual Oscars, right? It's drawing people from that don't even have no interest from other, com other, other communities, the sports community, cooking community. Every community right now is, is on from YouTube is talking about Will Smith right now because of the drama. He slapped him and he slapped him on the, on the Oscars and, and people hadn't seen anything like that before. And, and it's it's interesting right now. Right. It's drama. One thing about drama is it will never get old. It's a whole category of film, drama, horror, action and adventure. These are whole categories in film that will never get old. Never. Drama will never get old. This is why Jehovah's Witnesses, going back to the Kingdom Hall, that's one of the reasons why it's so interesting to me. Because Watchtower had it before, when everyone was watching meetings over Zoom, they had it before. Meetings in a platform where even if somebody crashed a Zoom meeting, it ain't going to be all that exciting to my knowledge. It's not going to get a whole lot of attention from the public. Jehovah's Witnesses, for the most part, fly under the radar. 
They don't have a whole lot of attention from the public. These are just people. All they know about them is they walk around with magazines. If Jehovah's Witnesses did get a whole lot of attention from the public, the general public would condemn them because they would also figure out their doctrine. The insane end of the world predictions, all this stuff. If this stuff became mainstream knowledge, do you know how dangerous that is a watchtower? Right now, Watchtower and all their false predictions, the only people that know about are people in the cult and former members. They still can reach out and, and, and try to recruit others uh, who didn't know about it. But if that became mainstream knowledge, back in the day, people would make fun of Jehovah's Witnesses just for knocking on doors all the time. Could you imagine what would happen if it became mainstream knowledge that these people are literally predicting the end of the world and constantly talking about the end of the world is around the corner, it's around the corner. Then they die and they kids grow up and oh, it's around the corner. So the end of the world is good. Then they die and their kids, this would be the laughing stock. Jehovah's witness doctrine is so poorly put together. It would be the laughing stock, but they fly under the radar. Most people don't even know about it. Kingdom Hall crashes potential. I say potential because anybody going into a hall screaming and hollering, just technically they did a crash, but it's not necessarily done in a way to be successful, to make the wider audience know why you did it, what on earth you're talking about while you're doing it, uh, and, and, and what the end goal is. You know what I mean? Even with them not knowing all these things, those crashes were getting 80K views, 200,000 views. I'm just keeping it real. I'm not interested in, in making money. Mark, you know, I've been doing this for years and have never monetized anything. I'm not, I'm, I'm interested in, in, in exposing the cult. And drama it is what it is draws tons of people and a kingdom hall crash uh i'm telling you all these videos these people there there are former jehovah's witnesses making videos and they don't get the same amount of views as the more popular channels right and and I've, I've I watch all these videos and and sometimes I hear them allude to it. Uh, then have them, then you look at and and they do a Kingdom Hall crash or somehow it gets on their channel and the freaking thing explodes. What does that tell you? It tells you that as far as activism is concerned. Crashes, what we call crashes, we could call it something else. We could call it something that's going to people would know what it is. Uh, but these potentially have the ability to be seen by more people than anything else that I'm aware of currently because. the drama involved with it would get more views than the best XJW YouTuber would, would, would get on a, on a average normal video, right? It, it, it exceeds that. So if it exceeds that, is that something that we view as a successful video? If it's a successful video, then <laughs> Jehovah's Witnesses just went right back to the they're, they're going back to the kingdom hall. They're, 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 they're putting themselves back in an environment where their cult could potentially be exposed to more, more peoples, more people, more numbers than ever before. 
if people started picking up these these crashes, but not just going in the hall hollering, but going in with the concept of look at Will Smith. He ain't even fighting for no calls per se. He just slapped Chris Rock and the whole world's talking about it. What about somebody who's actually fighting for calls? What about somebody who's actually trying to stop pedophilia? Uh, what about somebody whose family member actually was killed by this cult and they crash a meeting like he crashed the Oscars? Not necessarily, I'm not saying go slap somebody, but the numbers still go up. And if people know the backstory as to why you did it, what you did, they understand what's going on. If all this is explained in the video, you tell me, you tell me what that potential could be. The potential could be all these channels that are doing it quadruple in numbers all these other channels that for the longest time we've considered to be successful because they do let's say 15k on a video or they do 25k on a video this is successful to us but what about a kingdom hall crash that does 40k or does 80k or does 100k that ain't This is interesting to me. I don't know for a fact that people are planning on crashing meetings uh, like Will Smith crashed the Oscars. <laughs> uh, but if it were to start again and people thought about it and planned it out and we have more people doing XJW videos now than I think we've ever had before. The potential of really exposing Watchtower in front of tons of people, more people than ever before, if this started happening on a wide scale, the crashes where the crashes are explained, and I can't think of a different name, but they're given a name that will actually attract the general public. Watchtower would be dealing with a problem it would have no solution to other than to stop the meetings again. 937-789-4029, we'll discuss it. Uh, and, and yeah, some people may say, well, what if that turns off four people in the hall? You know, what if people, there, there are people in the hall that do a crash and, and four people are turned off? Well, what about the 200,000 people that the cult had just been exposed to who watched the video. It would still be success. It would still trump. What if, what if they thought that they were being persecuted? The, the video still skyrocketed in views and it is still exposing the cult unlike it has ever been exposed. Who cares how they feel? They're being exposed. They would have. They would be being exposed on record numbers, right? Record numbers of people. It would. It would be exposing. Uh, well, what if the general public start feel sorry for them? How, if you explain it in the beginning, that these people killed your mother, <laughs> these people made it to where you could not speak to your family in decades. If you explain this before you go into Kingdom All Star Island, you know, just like with Will Smith, people knew why he went up on stage. He didn't just go up on stage and slap him and people, what in the world happened? They knew why he went up there and slapped him. Right? But that was an act of violence. If he would have went up there, took the mic and said, keep my wife's name out your mouth, that would have been more like a Kingdom Hall crash and he would have had more backing the only thing that is holding what he did back is that he did an act of violence. People are, are going to are not going to condone that. XJW Keenum Hall crashes for the most they were not acts of violence. They were crashing. 
Comment down below. Let me know what uh, you think. Uh, but, you know, the whole point is, is I don't think that this whole, oh, we're being persecuted. Who cares? You'd be exposing them oh, <laughs> in front of hundreds of thousands of people. X-Wall Kill Bethelite signing out.